How are you guys going? It's Lou here from IPM Media. Today I'm going to be taking you through Facebook ads for beginners. This video is for people who have never used Facebook ads and are just getting started. I'm going to take you through the basics that you need to get up and running and running successful Facebook ads that are going to generate revenue for your organization. Let's get stuck straight in. So you can see I've searched in Facebook Ads Manager here and this is how you get started with Facebook Ads. And you can scroll down here and you can see Facebook Ads Manager. We're going to click on this and this will take us to Facebook Ads Manager's page. Now you need to have a Facebook account obviously and you need to have a Facebook page for your business when you're advertising. You can click here and then this will take you to your Facebook page login. I've already logged in, I'll show you that now. Here we go. So once you log in, put in your billing details, you'll come to this. This is your campaign editing system. And you can see I've got a lot of um, campaigns running here. You'll have none if you're fresh. Let's just take a bit of a look around here. You can see we've got three tabs here, campaigns, ad sets, and ads. These are the hierarchy of Facebook ads. Campaigns are where you store your ad sets and ad sets store ads. You can think about campaigns like they control the important things like your objective, what type of ads, um, and that sort of thing. And then you have your ad sets, and ad sets controls who you're targeting and your budget. And then your ad holds your creative. So what your ad actually is, what images you use, and what text you use. And that's the hierarchy. So you have the campaigns, then the ad sets, and then the ads. And you can hold multiple ad sets within a campaign and multiple ads within an ad set. And you can see here all this information I've got. You can This has been set for this month, but you can also change this data. So we'll change it for the lifetime of all the ads, and that updates the data to be full. And if we go up in the top left hand corner here, we can open up and go all tools. And this shows us, shows us all of Facebook's business tools because I'm in business Facebook right now. And you can see here, we've got all these other tools that we can look at and analyze with. But today we're just gonna focus on Facebook Ads Manager. Okay. The best way to learn, honestly, is to get stuck in and actually create an ad. So let's go through today and create an ad and we'll just create one for my website to show you what you might do if you have a website you want to promote. And here's the business advertising wizard. So you can see we've got a few options around here. And the first one is what's your marketing objective? And now this is really important to choose from because there's quite a few selections. Each one has a different purpose. I'll just run you through a couple. Reach, for example, means that Facebook's going to show your ad to the most people possible. Traffic means that Facebook's going to show your ad to people most likely to click on it. And app installs mean it's going to show your ad to people most likely to install the app. And you can see this by hovering over the information information um, icons at the edge of each um, objective. So for today, because we're going to be setting up an ad for my website, we're just going to look at traffic. But just know that there are different options out there. So if you want to get messages, you can choose this. Or if you want lead generation, you can choose that. But today, we're going to choose traffic. Keep in mind, if you want to put this ad set within an existing campaign, you can click this too. And you can see these campaigns here, but we're going to create a new campaign with a new objective. And we're going to choose traffic. And once that's done, it lets us scroll down and give it a name. We'll call it traffic for IPM media. You can name whatever you want. And we won't select any of these because they're a bit more advanced. But we'll just click continue. And now we're editing the ad set. You can see so we can see over here on the left hand side all the settings we have as we work our way through. And you can see we've got a little tick box next to campaign once we've set that up. So now this is what the ad set editor looks like. We can give it a name and we might just call we won't actually call it anything quite yet. But we can see it gives us the option of traffic. Where would you want to drive your traffic? And it gives us a few of these options. We're going to stick with website because that is what we want it to be. 
We're going to turn these off. That's a bit more advanced. We just want to get a basic ad up and running. And we're down to audience. And this is where we do all the targeting in Facebook. So here we can target all the people we can search by on Facebook. But before we do that, I just want to show you the right hand side over here where it says audience size. So this is the audience estimator. You can see right now with our selections of in Australia and 18 to 65 plus, all genders, we've got 18 million people to target to. And then Facebook down here gives us some estimated daily results. And Facebook calculates that by taking our budget, which is automatically set to $20, and running it through our ad optimizations. So as we change our targeting and our budget, all this will change on the right hand side. And this is a really good way to judge and get an idea of what to expect from Facebook when they deliver your ads. So let's say I want to deliver ads to people in Adelaide, which is where I live. I'll put in Adelaide. I'll have to spell it out. South Australia. And there you go, it drops a pin there. And you can see that it's got a radius. You can change the radius up here in miles. We might make it a bit bigger. And as you make it bigger, you'll see more people get into it. And the audience size expands. In this same way, we can also exclude people. We can go exclude. So if you want to exclude certain regions, you might exclude Melbourne, for example, if you want to do that. And now Melbourne's excluded. So it's a really good way to rule out places where you don't want your ads to be shown, especially if we were targeting suburb by suburb in Adelaide. It might be good to rule out certain suburbs that we don't service in. And age. Age is obvious. And obviously, age is obviously an easy one. You can choose what age you want to target. Gender, you can choose. And demographics and interest. This is a really interesting one. So if we click browse over here on the right, we have Facebook's three broad options. Demographics, which is obviously stuff like income, um, age, that sort of thing. Interest being what you're interested in. And Facebook obviously gathers this by the pages that you like and what you read. And then behaviors. And Facebook gathers behaviors by what you do. So we might select demographics and we might go education. And we might choose people with a master's degree if we are targeting that. And then we might browse again and select behaviors and we might look at digital activity and we might target console gamers. And here you can see Facebook's updated the audience size and now we've got 43,000 people to target. This is an example of how you can target. We can also narrow the audience further. This means the people we're targeting must match these two criteria or attributes and this one that we choose to and we might just click suggested because Facebook gives us suggested ones and we might put in owners and CEOs and immediately you can see it narrows audience quite a bit because there's not many owners and CEOs who are also console gamers and have master degrees you can see it's less than a thousand people we'll just get rid of that for the time being but in the same note as where we excluded Melbourne you can also exclude behaviors so you go exclude and then we can browse and choose our own baby behaviors and interest. It's really worth having a look around here and searching. If you want, you can search. So if you look at search in business, we can find people who are interested in business. We might exclude them. And now we're left with 9,400 people. So Facebook's got quite strong targeting in here. So play around and try and find some targeting attributes that match up with your ideal audience. Now I'm just going to get rid of that one because we've got 43,000 people here. And we might click save this audience and give it a name. We might call it people in Adelaide who game and have a master's degree. There we go. Now that's a descriptive title. Click save. And now that's saved so we can always find that audience again if we want to target that with a different ad. And now we're at budget. So obviously it says optimization for ad delivery up here. We want to select link clicks if that's what we want. But you can also optimize for impressions. And that means that they're going to show your ad to as many people as possible. But since we want link clicks, 
we'll select link clicks. I would leave this alone until you've got a better understanding of how Facebook ads work. But what this means is once you understand that on average it costs $4 to get a link click, you might put some price controls in here and try and bring that price down. Daily budget or lifetime budget. This is how you can optimize your spending. I recommend daily budget and you can go as cheap as a dollar I believe or a dollar 47. It is a dollar but because I've got several ads running it has to be a dollar 47 for tax reasons. And you can see down here it says set a start and end date or run my ad continuously. We'll just set run my ad continuously from the day of approval. And you can down here it gives you a few estimations on ad spend, estimated tax and total amount spend. We can click show more options have a little bit down here. This just tells us when we'll get charged and the delivery type. Standard means that it's going to be just delivered all across the day. And you can see here as we've updated, it's forecasting to get 247 to 720 impressions per day and less than 10 link clicks per day. We can go to continue now and here we are in the ad creator. Once this loads, you can, once again you can see we can give it an ad name and our identity. So if you have multiple Facebook pages like me, you can select your one that you want the traffic to be associated with. We'll just select IPM Media. And here we go, we've got three options here. Create ad, this is where you have to create your own ad. You can use an existing post. You can see, if we scroll down and select a post, we can choose from all the posts that we have. We can search them and look at published posts. And we can also have, we can sort and that sort of thing. So you can see if you want to go through here and promote something like that, you can do that too. And then we can also use mockups. Let's not worry about that today, but we'll just select create an ad because this is most likely what you're going to use. And you can see a few options, we've got a collection, single image or single video or a carousel. I recommend just a single image a lot of people are really used to that and they like that on Facebook so it's quite nice to serve that but if you have for example an e-commerce store and you're marketing several products in a similar category you might select collection or carousel if you want to display a few more items but for us selling a business selling our services I should say we'll just select single image you can click add an instant experience here if your landing page is optimized for that but mine isn't so we're just going to leave that off and down here we can choose our media for the ad. I'm going to come in here and add an image because that's what I have and I'm going to click on something I've already uploaded and I'm going to select on here. It's a little bit of a mock-up of my website and someone using it. Now as we go along here Facebook generates the previews and these previews are how the ad is going to be delivered. So you can see if we click edit you can see how this ad's going to be shown. Facebook have a little bit of a crop mark around it. You can see this is how it's going to be shown there. And we can go crop to adjust this if we want to slide it like that. We might leave it there. Or maybe there. We'll see. We'll just leave it like that. But you can also see that Facebook gives us the other options. So we go back in here. So vertical would be shown in places like Instagram stories and Facebook ad stories. So we can select what part of my ad we want shown. I want my logo in there and we'll click save. In the same way you can adjust the rest of these too. We'll click save and Facebook has now got my image there. And this is where we go and create some ads. Well, the text for the ads. If we hover over these icons down here, we can adjust how our ads are previewed on the right here. So if we click desktop newsfeed, we can preview what's going to show on the desktop. Okay, primary text. The primary text is what appears above the ad. Like when you post something on Facebook, that is what appears. So we might write, we are IPM Media. Something simple. And as we enter that, we should get an update on the right hand side and we sure did. 
we are IPM Media. We're going to add a website URL. This is where the traffic is sent to. I might send it to my IPM Media. Oops. Quickly go in here and get that. There we go. There we go. Hit enter. Now that will start updating again. And because it's a website, Facebook will preload some information here. So you can see that it's taken my headline from my website, it says IPM Media, Profitable Digital Marketing, and then the description is already preloaded too. But if you want to change those, you can enter it here. We might enter, change our headline and say, work with us. And you should see that it should change as we go. And as that updates, we'll scroll down here a little bit further. Work with us. Description. Description isn't shown on a lot of Facebook pages or Facebook ads. It's more for shown for outside areas that Facebook has ads running. This is called their audience network. You might want to put one in if you want. Keep it small and just describe what you're doing. Display link. Adjust the link that you can see above there. You might want to put www.ipmmedia or you might want to have something else if your display link is a little bit ugly. But I'm quite happy with what mine is. And last but not least, we have call to action. Depending on what you're advertising, you might have a different call to action. For us, it's going to be learn more. But for you, if you're selling an e-book, you might be download or shop now if you're selling shoes. Just depends. Ignore the languages, but that's essentially if you're running multilingual ads, you can add different languages so you can reach more people. However, I'm not going to worry about that because I'm only targeting Adelaide. But if you're doing global ads or international ads, definitely worth it. You can see we've got tracking set up down here on my Facebook Pixel. I'll link to the video about Facebook Pixels soon. And we won't worry about that today because that's quite complicated. And we'll close this. And we are basically done. We're going to click confirm. Facebook will confirm our items. It's quite slow. That's because it's quite a weighty program, Facebook Ads Manager. While we wait, I just want to talk about how important Facebook ads are for the price. Because a lot of ads cost quite a bit of money. Google ads can be quite expensive. LinkedIn ads require $10 a day. But Facebook ads can be as cheap as a dollar per day. So they're a really good place to dip your toes into advertising if you've never done it before. Because after a whole year of advertising, you only spend $365, which is quite cheap considering you can spend that in a month on LinkedIn. Now, once your ad's been approved and looked at by Facebook, it'll appear in here. Well, your campaign will appear here and your ad will appear here. And, the ad, and then your ad will appear here. And once that's there, you can go through and you can look at the results once you've got some results in there. This is just the default setting of performance and you can see some of the information it gives you. But you can also change that and look at engagement. This is how people engage with your ads. So you can see what results you got, link clicks, post saves, comments, post shares, cost per link click. You can also go down here if you're running videos, look at video engagement. These are all some of the ways that you can break it down, add and look at the results. Hope you guys really enjoyed this video. If you liked it, like and subscribe. And I'll see you all next time.